Hello everybody, and welcome back to DC Universe Online with me and Levi Ravenside and Steve. And last time, uh, we went ahead and we did the Poison Ivy mission. And if you guys didn't see, I did a live stream in between the last episode and this episode. So there's a couple of those videos if you haven't seen. Um, I did the new uh duo the flash museum duo with quantic strike and i also did uh the another mission with uh levi uh, we went and did the lantern mission um so if you guys want to watch those they're from the live stream um it's not quite an episode but um i it, it, it's something i i, I was talking to chat most of the time and just kind of doing things um, but yeah, so I did that last time. So now we have a new mission, which is no joke. Joker's clowns are attacking civilians in Burnley. Nightwing was the last one in, but he's held up in the East End station with the GCPD. Batman wants you to check in with him. He'll contact you on site. Okay, so he's held up. Batman wants you to check in on him. Interesting. Um, we'll see what Nightwing wants us to do. I'm not really sure what he wants us to do. Um, another Joker mission. So we're going to find out. Oh, there's a guy up there. Hello, Black M Amateuratsu. Amateuratsu. Hello. Whatever. Nightwing, what do you want? Hey, I promised Gordon I'd babysit these two before they're taken to Arkham, or I'd join you out on the streets. The Joker's Ghost clowns are spooky. acting even crazier than usual because of the Joker's new toxin. That stuff is like atomized insanity. Good luck out there. Okie dokie. So we just gotta go take out Joker guys then? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, but yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much what we did last time, technically. Um, it was the live stream and we did the Green Lantern thing. It was, it's just one of those missions that we've done like a ton. So I was like, eh, why not get it out of the way and do something fun at the same time? So, um, look forward into the future for some more live streams and things like that. Um, I'm going to try starting to do them on YouTube because I think it might be easier for you guys to, um, see those and, uh, be able to join in and ask me questions or whatever you guys want to do um and you guys can see me in game and if you're in game you can always uh uh team up with me for certain things if need be so look for those Bad in the future that woman is tracking down the scarecrow she's armed with an older version of my antidote don't risk your men we're handling it that man out Oh, okay, so this is the mission where we gotta... Ooh, what is that? Okay, so yeah. This is Batman. The hey, Batman. The clowns have no respect for human life, and today is no exception. When this attack began, I received an obscure encoded signal. That can't be a coincidence. I need you to clean up the Joker's mess while I decrypt the code. Joker's goons this is the um, clown heads mission where we got to just kind of go deal with Joker's stuff, and it's leading up to him working with. Here. Bah, this coffee table book is simply derivative of a greater work. Yes, um, this is kind of leading up to uh, Tio Maro and Joker's like working together type thing. Um. And so, yeah, that we gotta go do that. Wag, stop! Nobody likes you. Oh, Nobody you. likes the I wags. To die for the Joker's sick show. Don't worry, There's I'll no take out the Joker of this. and save these GCPD officers. Um. So, okay. In in the past, uh, I've talked about like Gotham and the Flash and stuff. And now I've seen uh, the first episode of the new season of The Flash. How are they getting away uh, And if you guys this? haven't watched, we need more um, more it was Help! Help! it was okay. Um, I gotta be honest, 
I was it was a little underwhelming the first episode of the new season. Um, I still need to watch the first episode of Arrow and see where that's going because I really do like Arrow, but the last season of it, um, the whole Ra's al Ghul storyline thing, I just I didn't really care for it as much as uh, the other storylines. Like, like the whole uh, I think it was probably the first season. Um, or maybe it was the second season, or maybe it was both the seasons kind of put together. I think it was kind of both of them put together, but, uh, the whole Deathstroke, uh, storyline, I thought that was really cool. Um, the first season was probably the best because it really focused in on him building up who he was and, uh, you know, learning that he, he's not, he doesn't have to be a killer like he was on the, the island. He he can be uh, a hero without having to kill people and stuff. And I like that a whole lot more Welcome than like the, the Ra's al Ghul. Like it was in his past and now he's got to deal with the things he's hey, done and that whole weird this jazz. I, I just, I don't know. It, it wasn't my my uh, shindig, my, my, my whatever, my party. <laughs> Words. I've also been playing Soma, and I played some of that before I played this, and oh my god, I'm still kind of like, ah, I don't like that. I don't like it. Um, so you guys will get to see that um this weekend. There were no any weekend episodes because I um I was focusing on Soma and. Um, just a whole bunch of other stuff, and I didn't really have any new games to play, so I figured instead of another Indie Weekend episode, um, we would do, uh, some Soma in this, so, yeah, that, that was kind of the, the plan there, anyway, but, yeah, uh, the, the first episode of The Flash... Whatever's happening here is a part of a bigger plan. You need to blow up more of these heads, I don't I? The signal that began at the start of the attack, and it's a series of coordinates. I'm uploading the first one to your map now. I guess not. For whatever reason, it's like blow these up. Do I have any side mission now? Every nope, just that. Okay. The first clue. Good work. Whatever's happening here is a part of a bigger plan. I've decoded the signal that began at the start of the attack, and it's a series of coordinates. I'm uploading the first one to your map now. Yeah, Kate! Do something flashy! Do something flashy! Ow! Steve, that guy that you were shocking, he's dead. There we go, perfect. Um, the first what? episode of The Flash, I keep getting distracted. Ugh. Last I heard, he'd retired from a life of crime and started his own detective agency. But from these clues, he's slipping into his old criminal lifestyle. Huh. I wonder why. Uh, I guess we'll put that one on. Sure, why not? Um, the Riddler's he... bizarre fixation with Riddle Batman. prevents him from saying Jack anything talk. directly. Keep losing track. When is an attack not an attack? When it's a feint. He's saying the Joker's attack here is just a diversion. But from what? There's a second set of coordinates. I'm sending them to your map now. Yay! Um, it was kind of over uh, or underwhelming because I I thought they were gonna really focus on like a really cool um bit because at, at the end of the first season, if you guys haven't seen, um, this is kind of spoilers, but um, a big wormhole opens up. It's pretty much in all the new trailers and stuff for the new series, but a big wormhole opens up. And, uh, hello, um, and the, the Flash, he runs up into it, and he's gonna stop it, or he's gonna try anyway, and it just ends there, and that was the first season, and I was like, ah, but, but, like, come on, I, I wanna see more of that, and then in, in the second, the beginning of the second season, it starts off and it's him just fighting uh, Captain Cold and Heat Wave. These coordinates led us directly to another clown attack. The Riddler must want us to shut the Joker down, but why? This... Whatever his reason, take advantage of it. Take out the clowns and then get to Nigma's next clue. Because the Joker's a bad guy? But 
um, it, it started out really weird because it it showed that scene and then it directly went into him fighting Captain Cold and Heat Wave, and um, it it just didn't feel uh, like how I expected it to be. Like I expected the first episode to be them uh, yeah. them you know, dealing with this this wormhole and like just all sorts of crazy stuff is going on and the timelines are merging and being deleted and all just, just all sorts of things and it like completely ignores all of that and it just goes uh, yeah. into like you know, everything's fine it's grenade. totally cool and I just I was like, well, that was, that was really oh, underwhelming, Super like, like, why, well, why didn't they the just, party. like, focus on that story? I don't, I don't understand. They went into, like, he's Those the Flash now, and clowns. everybody loves him. And then it kind of goes into the story about, um, you know, what hap, it kind of goes into what happened, and Barry's clowns. kind of gone, like, rogue from the team, and he's... Uh, hiding away from them and just doing his own thing and uh, the team since uh, Star Labs yeah, doesn't you know, really exist anymore they're they're kind of gone their own ways but they're still a team um, it focuses on how uh, Firestorm kind of just gave his life to stop this um, this wormhole from destroying Central City which was kind of cool but it was at the same time I it was another thing like Firestorm uh, yeah. has know, gone through so much. Like, he's... He first, Ronnie first died. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll do this. Riddler here. I see you've stopped to find my go. What a classic game of wits. Joe Dynasty classic. Um, If you guys haven't seen this, is big spoiler, so I apologize. But, you know, you guys it's should watch The Flash. It's totally close. worth it. And me telling you this, I don't feel like I spoil anything. You'll be like, oh, wow, that's so cool. But, um, Those like, Ronnie, clowns. he died at the beginning, and then he came back, and he became Firestorm, and it, it's like he died once, and then there's another part where he dies again in the first season, or uh, they think yeah. he's going to die, know, but that's kind of what saves him. And now he's dead again, and it's like, well, shoot. You gotta bring him back again, and it just it feels super repetitive. Like they just kind of we're like, well, who can who can we um what, what kind of tragedy can we build out of this? And it I don't know, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like, like how I would have expected it to be. You know what I mean? It it just felt weak compared to what it could have been. But it was still kind of cool, and then um. He deals with uh, Adam Smasher, um, and that was just kind of lame. He does pretty much just kill him, though, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but, you know, he is a hero. He can do what he can do. So. These coordinates led us directly to another clown attack. The Riddler must want us to shut the Joker down, but why? Whatever his reason, take advantage of it. Take out the clowns. Nope, and I, get I already did that. Clue. How about some poetry, anyway. Batman? The Joker thinks he is king, but he is a tool. It sounds like the Riddler is saying someone is jerking the Joker's <laughs> strings. But who'd be crazy Someone's enough to do that? Someone's jerking the Joker. <laughs> um. Enigma's second riddle. It must mean that the Joker is working with someone to make his toxin. So this wrong. Is Ryder, why? You are wrong. Why? Because you think the Joker isn't a man with a plan. Sure, he's a crazy pathological mass murderer. Sure, he's a menace to every normal, rational, order-loving human being. That doesn't mean he doesn't have friends. Friends with the technology to turn us all into crazed freaks. Think Batman and the new heroes can keep us safe? Hate to say it, friend, but you um, are wrong. Where was I? Uh, Flash basically kills Adam Smasher, which was, eh, it's kind of like, eh, it was 
kind of a weak way to handle the whole situation. You've done better in the past, and this just felt like a like too easy of a way out. Um. Yes, I'm gonna continue Soma. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but uh, uh Batman, I'm talking. Get, get in close. Those robots. They're models of Red Tornado, the robot created by T.O. Morrow. You'll know tomorrow. Very clever, Riddler. The previous attacks were huh. all designed to draw attention away from the Joker's new robot Do I? Squad. Do I know what to do? You know what to do. Do I really know what to do? Because I gotta be honest. Sometimes I ain't got a clue. I thought there was a box or something around here. That I need to look at for this mission. Maybe I'm in the wrong area. Oh, maybe it's over here? Mills. Oh, I think I did this one just running around. So we're fine. We don't have to worry about the secondary mission. Um, and then at the end of the episode, uh, it just is uh, the Flash and the team kind of just get back together and they continue their stuff. And then of course, uh, it's been shown quite a bit, but uh, Jay Garrick, the uh, original Flash, he shows up and he's like, your world's in danger, and then that's kind of just how it ends. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see where it's going to go because I know it's probably going to lead up a lot to uh, Legends of Tomorrow, which I'm really excited for because that looks really cool and it's got Vandal Savage in it, which is, he's kind of... He's, he's not necessarily, like, most powerful of, uh, of villains, but he is one of the most dangerous because he, he doesn't die. He can't die. So he just keeps going for all of time and uh, just keeps causing trouble throughout the world. Eradicate them. Oh, shoot. I haven't been doing the band part of it. This J1N1 can explain the proper Darn it. Well, I can do these vans, so it's cool. So, goons? Why do you jerks always spoil our J1N1? No! Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It was kind of a weak start for his second season. Uh, I feel it could have been better. They could have gotten a better villain. It just it just didn't feel very mm, all together. And then, uh, along with that, I watched the uh, newest episode of The Flash. Deploy vans with power cores. I didn't get to do that. Uh, I watched the new episode of Gotham. And I was really excited for it because... They're bu they were building up the drone character, and um, he uh, he was really starting to become like a very, very cool character. And the newest episode kind of focused more around them dealing with the death of the new commissioner, and um, I forget her name off the top of my head, but uh, dealing with her and dealing with the new guy in it, uh, and it was kind of cool. And they really built up uh, uh, Jerome as this Joker character, and I really wanted to see him do more. And um, but in the end, this is another big spoiler, so I apologize. But um, at the end of the episode, uh, something bad happens to Jerome. Um, oh god, I did not mean to target Clayface. This is a bad idea. Well, let's uh, let's give this a shot. This is not gonna work out. Ooh, maybe it will. I don't know. Ooh god. Ooh god. I'm gonna have to let Steve take most of this. Ooh, shoot. Thankfully I got the team out, but ooh god. Nope, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Nope. Didn't couldn't do it. I always mix up which one's Clayface. Ah, Um 
But yeah, something really bad happens to Jerome, and he's not going to be in the series anymore. But it ends, and they're like, because of his evil that he did, it's going to infect Gotham. Just his sinister, evil attitude. You guys got to watch it. It was actually pretty good, but the the end, it was like, ah, oh, why? You, you guys, you, you got rid of, like... An amazing character, like a character that at first I, I was like, well, I don't really know if this is going to be the, the character I want to watch or not, or if he's going to be that good. And, you know, I was I was really starting to dig him. I I thought he was really, really good. And, and they, they made the second episode and it just gave me chills how good he was as that in that part um but i don't know it was just it was kind of sad I, i'm excited to see what comes from it now because now they're going to focus on a different villain um and that'll be cool that'll be cool them focusing on uh they'll probably focus on uh edward nigma because uh he's he's the next real big villain they've been building up so i'm i'm kind of excited to see what they do with him you never know Ooh, not what I meant to do. Weapons, staff. Ah, oh, I thought I was super close to getting a weapon mastery. Guess not. Oh well. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I got the hiccups. Oh god, the hiccups are back. They've come to haunt me. <coughs> oh, not what I meant All to right. do. I give. I doesn't take Ooh, Batman to defeat that last clue. Riddler's in trouble at the Monarch uh, Trading yeah, we'll Card that. Company. Update Ooh, your Tesla staff. That'll be cool. The Riddler's compulsion to flaunt his knowledge in riddles has helped us, but condemned him. Oh wow, that looks the really cool. Kill him for exposing his J1N1 robot attacks. With luck, you can get to the Riddler before Joker's killers do. It's the only chance. Huh, the so that makes got. those white. I can make those red, or I can make them white. I can make this black, and I can make this red. That might be kind of cool looking. Eh. I like that black. And like those black. Eh. See what that looks like. Pretty cool. Got like this cool Tesla thing to it. Let's change the balls to red though. Red balls. Keep that black. And should we do that black? No, let's do that white. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. That looks cool. Um But yeah, I think I think the next character. They're going to kind of build up and uh, create out of is going to be uh, Nigma because he's the most interesting. Oh God! <laughs> Greetings, unwitting potential dupe. Welcome to Riddler's Riddle Contest Automated Kiosk, patent pending. Solve my riddle and win a prize. Ready? Gardener, lover, rich man, brute. All became pilots, each in a suit. Shot from the deck, they lie where they land. I gotta go pick up cards. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know. The, Gotham this season is really, really good. So and I think the, the first season suffered from the fact that they were just really trying to shove it in everyone's face. They're like, oh, guess what? He's a villain. He's another villain. He's a character that you know. And I'm going to tell you that it's another character that you know. And everybody was kind of like, yeah, we got it, okay? We, we got it. She's going to be Catwoman. He's going to be the Riddler. He's going to be Joker. He's going to be Scarecrow. Uh, it, it all kind of was like, meh. But, um. Riddler here. I'm no fan of the night. But I but do enjoy the new season is laws. really cool because it's. Hello, Batman. When it's a jar. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. 
The door to what I know is definitely ajar, Batman. Ow, ow. Ow! That's I'm very close to having this loadout finished, but... Who is this? You're not Batman, but clearly working with Batman, or you never would have found me. Very well. Solve my riddles and you will find me Okie dokie. and my message for uh, the Dark Knight. I don't understand what... Like... Because you go up to the door and you're like, Ah, door. It's obviously a door, but it's not open. But it, if, what it, for whatever reason it opens, it like activates this thing. Don't really understand. When is a door and not a door when it's a jar? Well, well. We have a winner. Maybe you're not as dumb as hmm. Are you a I, I don't understand that one really. Yes. Not, oh, I keep blowing up the truck over the or the uh, the the lift. Riddle me this. Want to get past my locks? Start to think outside ah. the box. What I'm trying to convey, I'm trying to convey will belt you. you. Suck it, wag. And nope, you're gonna die laughing. You're gonna die laughing. Does it now? Ow! Uh, what? Uh, Gotham. I'm, I'm excited to see them uh, continue, like building up the characters and going through what created the characters. So, I think that's a good start for Nicely it. You know, done. It, it's. It's something that we all know. We all kind of know how this became. And I think that's something that, uh, like, Batman Arkham Asylum tried to convey. Riddler here. The Soma Cube is akin to an elegant philosophy. But I'm sure someone of your mental capacity is more familiar the with the colored 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 puzzle, puzzle cube. cube. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Arkham Asylum kind of tried to convey that that this is how they became this way and Arkham Origins did the same very good the answer to the final riddle me of course but you'll only get through There's if you solve all to not my riddles. activate hurry get them while they're down we are gonna pay there's something with, with ah cool stuff disabled uh, reactivating cool got that feet I think there was probably a feat to not activate those either. I think. Not sure. Uh, perfect. Riddler! Fantastic. I haven't seen the box yet. Like the, the prize box. The treasure chest. Uh, it's probably further on. Hmm. Oh. Well. Three sons, seeking fortune, made their way Long. along a road one bright fine day. They came at last to a triforked road, and each a different route now strode. The left path tread, with dream of riches in his head. The left path tread, with dreams of riches in his head. A wife he'd hoped to find at last. The middle pass, a wife he hoped to find at last. The eldest the right road did claim. A fine estate was his good aim. The roads did wind and twist and bend. But each path seemed a strange Beep. dead end. I to win! Fate, so say the sages. And? Not their path. They get it? Nice. Got it. And did I get any good loot? Got some boots. Ooh, those are nice. And those aren't so nice. Nope, not nice at all. All right, cool. Good deal. Down we go. Eh, nothing in here. Okay. You're glowy though. Oh, there's a chest. Whack. Modern Gorilla Weave Headguard. That good? Ooh, it is good. 
Nice. Let's grab this while we're here before we do anything. Riddler here. This puzzle box, when correctly put together, reveals an internal secret. <sighs> Think of it like the Ooh. prize inside a box of boosters. Skills, weapons, staff! Oh, I still don't have the weapon mastery. What is it? Five, seven, ten, nineteen. Ah, oh, I need one more. Are you kidding me? The heck? That sucks. Um we'll focus on uh power, I guess. Then next time we'll get that, and then we can start working on the weapon mastery. What weapons do I have to focus on anyway? Uh, one hand and rifle. Ugh, those both suck. Whatever. What are you going to do? Apologies for my overly protective bodyguards. I had, of course, already determined that you aren't Joker's assassin. Your time's up, Nigma. I never fail a contract. It's Deathstroke! You have to protect me from him! Okie dokie! I'll tell you everything! Just don't let him You'll kill, kill me. me for free. I'll kill you for free. You know what? I'll kill you just for saying you'll kill me for free. Ah. Help me! Use that, and... He's pretty much defeated! Come yeah, defeated. Why Deathstroke? I'd have thought the man famed to use 90% of his brain would have figured it out already. Joker's played you. Check your bank account if you don't believe me. I see. The Dave, what are you doing back there? denied for insufficient funds. Well, there you are. No money, no contract. Hooray! No for Bye, Deathstroke! Sweet. Riddler, talk to me. After that, maybe I don't mind Batman not showing after all. Tell Batman, T. O'Mara was working with the Joker, but he's gone rogue. That toxin is far more dangerous than anything the Joker's used before. And T. O'Mara has the real formula. Now, I'm going to go hide somewhere where the Joker will never find me. Come on, Come girls. They're prostitutes. Ooh. Riddles. Enigmas wrapped in conundrums. And with Morrow gambling with the Joker, all bets are off. Because what kind of hand do a Joker and an Ace make? A dead man's hand. Or try this one. The man who makes it doesn't want it. The man who wants it doesn't use it. The man who uses it will never know he has it. Give up. A coffin. Riddle me this. Can anyone win this war? Hmm. I have not seen that one in a long time. That was probably one of the coolest ones so far. The only thing that could ever get Deathstroke to back off a hit is lack of funds. It's a point of honor. I'd say the Joker just made a serious enemy. And that if the Riddler's really as smart as he thinks he is, he'll take Echo and Query and stay Echo and Query? for a while. Oh, look at this chandelier! So many chandeliers that I want in my base. That I probably can't have. We just add. Very uh... cool. Well, that went faster than I thought it would. But let's get back to the east end and finish this bad boy up, which is this way, I think. Yeah, because there's the big, the big building, the biggest building. I don't know what building that is, because I always thought that Wayne Tower was like the tallest building. In Gotham City but then there's that building next to it which is even bigger 
which is the one that I like always pose people on because I'm like, it's the biggest building overlooking everything. It's the perfect spot to be a hero. But uh, I don't know what it is. Does it even have a name? Map. Nope, no names. Just a building, I guess. Oh, big building. Big old building. Big old building for no reason. It's just like a big old apartment complex building, I guess. Or business building. I don't know. Weird. Weird buildings. I also did like a ton. A ton of the uh, the seasonal event too. So I got like some feats from that. Which is why I have like a bunch of the, uh, the staff stuff done. Because I did that. Which is good. Whee! Oh, no, not you, Phantom Stranger, no! It, it, walls, you're in my way. Why you have to be a wall? Hey, Nightwing! Easy. So you made it out I know. against Deathstroke. You're one tough customer. And that's good, because with T.O. Morrow working with the Joker, we're gonna Yay! need every hero we've got. All right, well, now we gotta speak to the question. Which I forget what that one is about. Probably something important. I can't remember. Star Blast Chews. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, I'll take the style, but not the head. Got the hands already. Sweet! That was good! We got, we got pretty much all that stuff taken care of. Uh, so, what is the mission to do with, with question? Oh, religion of crime. Ugh. This is Oracle. The international crime organization Intergang has created a new religion based on their so-called crime bible. We need to shut blah, down blah, their blah, operations blah, before Burnham, their Anheim, cult blah, spreads blah, across blah. Gotham. The question in Gotham's Sweet. Diamond District Police All right, cool. Well, I well, that was weird. Um, I think we will leave it there for today, everybody. So thanks for joining me for this episode. I hope I didn't spoil too much about the Flash and Gotham for you. You guys should go watch those if you haven't. I mean, come on, it, you know. I think the first episode or the first seasons, both of them are on Netflix now. So, what better reason not to watch them? I mean. I mean, what better reason to watch them? <laughs> Please watch them. You guys should. It's totally worth it. They're great shows. Way better than any of the DC movies they put out. Um, except for, like, The Dark Knight. That was pretty good. And Man of Steel was pretty good, too. Um, but, I mean, comparatively, it's really awesome. It's got a lot of, like, the funness of uh, the Marvel movies. So, it, it keeps that liveliness that... I wish the movies did rather than it being so real and tough and gritty and it's more fun and stuff, but it's still got that like teen drama shit to it. But, uh, yeah. So thanks for joining me, everybody. If you enjoyed this episode, of course, hit that like button. And also just to kind of throw it out there. If you guys haven't watched my Soma playthrough, I'm doing that. There should be another episode out today with this episode. So while you're at it, you guys should go check out Soma because um, I'm having a lot of fun with it, but it's terrifying. It is really terrifying. So check out the first episode. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, thanks for joining me, everybody. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>